country. National security is domestic business of every state, but uh, we have doubts whether this assistance meets the interest of Moldova itself. We have doubts whether the supplies of NATO arms undermining the neutral status of the Republic of Moldova will contribute to security, creating conducive conditions to negotiations on the Transnistrian conflict settlement. We again call upon the Moldovan side to be balanced in their uh, attitude to military assistance from the West, uh, which, uh, as history shows, uh, pursues goals far from maintaining peace and stability. Now, turning to our compatriot Simon Baikov, on the 30th of June, the courthouse of Burwood, a suburb of Sydney, passed a verdict against the Ottoman of the Transbaikal Cossack Simeon Baikov, uh, sen sentencing him to 10 months of prison. He is charged with a breach of a court, or uh, court order to non disclose confidential information during the pre election rally to support independent politicians. He mentioned a specific fact when local authorities chose a minor preventive punishment for a person accused of mild child molestation. He also published this video on his YouTube channel with over 156,000 subscribers. Despite this fact, uh, uh, the defendant uh, recognized his guilt and cooperated. He d deleted also the information from the public space. Uh, the court decision turned out to be unreasonably harsh at the top limit of potential sanction. There is no doubt that uh, it is the activity of our compatriot that has been long running counter to the Russophobic policy of the official Canberra that um, uh, led to this. Uh, he having gained popularity by his speeches against disproportionate COVID restrictions and bitter criticisms of the abundance of systemic parties in Australia, the sentence of the Transbaikal uh, Cossack uh, not only supports openly the special military operation of the Russian Armed Forces in Ukraine and also organized several activities during the general council of the Russian Federation in Sydney and also used his own resources and social media to disseminate uh, objective information about what's going on in the Donbass. The media activity of Simeon Boykov was confirmed by the fact that after his arrest uh, the uh, Australian citizens that are the most part of his audience uh, arranged a number of picketing activities uh, demanding that the activists be released, that we can only be uh, surprised by the ultra hypocrisy of the modern liberal ways where it was not a child torture and pedophile but a person not hesitating to openly condemn a true criminal who was put on trial. Uh, there is a uh, uh, an outright uh, rigid and strict attitude to our compatriots, such as refusal of bail until the court sentenced solitary confinement. We can only explain it by their desire to make him and his potential followers less willing to take part in civil, in this case, pro-Russian activities in the future. Now turning to the African continent, uh, on the third of July, Accra concluded the 61st summit of the Economic Community of West African States is ECOWAS. The agenda included the developments on Burkina Faso, Republic of Guinea and the Republic of Mali and also potential cooperation between states within the community. We have high opinion of the resolutions dedicated to uh, these issues uh, at the very high level, and we, they were demonstrating wisdom and high responsibility. We are positive that uh, the decision to re relieve uh, the majority of economic and financial sanctions that were introduced half a year ago against Mali authorities will enable them to focus closer on the main goal to liberate the country from armed gangs and liquidate the touristic threats and to get ready for the general election. Uh, within the terms uh, agreed by the community. We also have high opinion of the Ugadogi, Conakry and Bamako steps to ensure security, organize national dialogue and restore to the civil, uh, civil governance in this country. Within the campaign to cancel the Russian culture, we'd like to sensitize you to the uh, current uh, cultural events organized by our country, which are very popular among foreign participants on the 3rd of July, St. Petersburg hosted the inauguration ceremony of the 9th Len Abrasts of International Competition of Young's Opera Singers. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov sent a greetings letter to organizers and participants. For foreign participants, 
this prestigious contest uh, opened new horizons. Traditionally, this vocal competition is very popular among Russian and foreign musicians. In total, 193 young singers from various countries of the world were chosen, including from Russia, Belarus, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Australia, and Estonia. The jury members include representatives of Russia, Austria, Serbia, and the United States. The contest will continue until the 8th of July. This year, the We Are Together International Prize and international track of this prize will be dedicated to the topic of social change through volunteering. It is open for participation to non-commercial or public and business organizations as well as volunteers and non-registered civic activists. The application period for the prize has already begun. It will continue until the 15th of August. The link is available on the description of this briefing. You will be able to visit it. Uh, Award is handed out on three nominations ecology and sustainable development, medicine and healthy lifestyle, equal opportunities, and social justice. This contest and the international track of it uh, brings together enthusiasts from all over the world to do good to help those in the crisis situation. We hope that this year, like in the previous uh, year, the international jury will face a challenging but interesting task to pick the most interesting out of the multiple requests. The ceremony of, of awarding will be uh, given grants for implementation of initiatives as a part of the International Forum of Civil Participation We're Together from the 2nd to the 5th of December in Moscow. On the 7th to the 10th of September, one of the Balkan states will uh, host, together with the Ministry of Education and Science of Russia, the second youth seminar of Balkan philologists of Russia, and bring together 30 persons, uh, the, re the winners of the contest selection organized by the Pushkin Russian Language Institute. The registration period has already begun and will continue until the 24th of July. The uh, bids will be provided uh, from students, po including postgraduate students, alumni, pedagogues, researchers of Russian in 18 to 35 age brackets uh, among Albanians, Bulgarian, Bosnian, Herzegovina, Gre Greek, Italian, Romanian, North Macedonian, Serbian, Slovenian, Turkey, and Croatian, Montenegrin participants. So we, the results will be published on the 1st of August 2022. And um, on the 4th of July, Ekaterinburg inaugurated the 12th International Exhibition of Bron 2022, which is dedicated to the topic of industrial transition from challenges to new opportunities. It is gratifying that despite the unprecedented sanctions on our country from the collective West, it is still many participants from the other countries of the world. Kazakhstan is a country partner at the exhibition uh, where it presents 200 Kazakh companies and the official head of the delegation was uh, the Prime Minister of the Republic, Mr. Smailov. Now let's turn to our questions, international life, are you with us? International life, are you with us? Good afternoon. I have a following question. The US ambassador in China requested the Chinese leadership to stop presenting Russian propaganda. Isn't it an attempt to dictate foreign policy to Beijing? The US officials regularly criticize Beijing for development of relations with Moscow and they threaten to punish China for cooperation with our economic operators by passing illegitimate sanctions imposed by Washington and its allies against Russia. They do it in a very shameless way and they might forget that they are talking to a great power of the modern world. Such attempts is just a manifestation of uh, the Washington attempts to undermine the strategic partnership between Moscow and Beijing. This practice is doomed to failure. The relations with the third countries and with the United States do not influence on the gradual expansion of cooperation between Russia and China that is based on similar interests and mutual trusts. In the New world, the strategic choice for the bilateral cooperation has no alternatives. We expand our political dialogue with China, introduce new content into it, and engage in new formats of interaction. Ashark News, please. 
Your question. Good afternoon. I have the following question. The phone conversation between the presidents of Russia and France was published, and Russia and the fact that Russia has not congratulated Washington on the Independence Day. The question is, are there any chances for improvement of relations between these countries, taking into account these facts? We are perplexed with the public presentation of the content of the, our president's conversation. Unfortunately, it's not the first case of publishing such delicate information. It has nothing to do with the regular diplomatic practice of holding contacts on high level. The further relations will be determined by the decision of France if it will disassociate with the idea of its allies to contradict Russia. Russia has never imposed uh, the Iron Curtain and we do not reject to interact with France. Now to the congratulations. Uh, the press secretary of the president, Dmitry Peskov, has provided comments on this affair. In general, I have already said that we remain open to U.S. and to France for dialogue, but this dialogue should be based on mutual respect. Thank you. Russia today, please. Good afternoon. I have a question, the following question. Recently, Japan requested Russia to provide clarifications regarding the Sakhalin 2 project. Has Russia received this request and when the response will be provided? We have never received uh, the request, so uh, there sh can be no comment so far. Media Cooperation of China, please. Good afternoon. We have three questions. Finland and Sweden have signed the protocols on joining NATO. How it will influence the original security of Europe? It is just another step for escalation of political and military tensions in Europe. Helsinki and Stockholm, I believe, understand that joining NATO will aggravate the situation in the Baltic region and in the Arctic they might turn into the arena of dangerous contradiction. The possibilities for peaceful interaction will decrease if Finland and Sweden think that they will be able to preserve their sovereignty in terms of military opportunities. They are wrong. Joining the alliance Helsinki and Stockholm will have to obey the orders of NATO and mainly Washington who showed who is ruling there during the summit in Madrid. It is sad that two independent states decided to share the NATO ideas and join the foreign geopolitical game against Russia, they should understand the consequences. Any measures will see reciprocal measures from Russia. Thank you. And now we have uh, the second question about uh, the meeting of foreign ministers of G20. What Russia expects to see during that summit? What is most relevant topic for Moscow there? 
We have already said a lot about this topic. Minister Lavrov will lead with the Russian delegation during this event. We believe we'll be able to address the issues of multilateralism and expand progress on the relevant topics of the summit. Russia shares the Indonesian course for multilateralism, and we intend to support the principles of multipolar world, the development of multilateral mechanism for democratization of the global finance and economic government architecture. We welcome the fact that our position is supported by countries with the emerging markets. We believe that the access to the fuel and food becomes a global problem. This trend is uh, happening due to wide economic miscalculations by the G7 members. Now the question regarding the transit to Kaliningrad Oblast. The Lithuanian authorities imposed a ban to transit sanction goods to Kaliningrad Oblast, yet later Germany rejected this ban. What are your comments? We have already provided comments on many occasions on this topic, and Dmitry Peskov said that uh, this topic is extremely important and the work is underway. Newsroom, please. I have two questions. Earlier, Russian media said that Moscow helped Baku and Yerevan to agree on the automobile highway in Zangiru's corridor. It was a matter of principle for both parties in terms of peaceful agreement. Have there been any progress on this topic? Have the parties reached consensus? On this matter, the trilateral working group is continuing its work. June 3rd, the 10th, Moscow hosted the 10th meeting of trilateral working group that showed certain progress. The parties converged the uh, approaches regarding the restoration of transport communication. There was a discussion of the launch of railroad and automobile communication in the region, and the results will be delivered and published later. The second question. Russia has on many occasions said that uh, the OSC Minsk group ceased operation because of the refusal of the United States and France to work in this format. Yet the U.S. Uh, has changed the co-chair of this group, and Washington claimed that the Russian mediator did not accept the invitation to discuss the Karabakh issue. What's the stance of Moscow? We have already provided our position June 22nd. I have nothing to add here. Writer, the floor is yours, please. I have just one question. June 30, uh, the criminal process was launched in Kimke on the case of basketball player Miss Greiner that is accused in smuggling and possessing drugs. Before the hearings, there was an information on possible exchange of Miss Greiner for someone of the Russians accused in the U.S. Can the Ministry of Foreign Affairs confirm 
that the Russian and U.S. foreign agencies continue the uh, interaction regarding the exchange of imprisoned persons. The basketball player Brittany Greiner, arrested in Sheremetyevo airport, was accused in smuggling and possessing hashish oil, that is, a drug. This is a serious crime. And according to the criminal court code of the Russian Federation, she is to be accused for 10 years imprisonment. The attempts to present the situation uh, as if she was arrested illegitimately are absolutely unsustainable. The law was violated. Uh, yet Brittany Greiner can complain to Joe Biden and even um, apply for appellation and ask for pardon. I have a question regarding the NATO-Russia Founding Act of 1997. What is uh, the meaning of this document? Currently, the Minister of Foreign Affairs has provided comments on this topic during the press conference on June 30. It was not Russia who initiated uh, the suspension of this document. Legally, this document is still there, yet some NATO colleagues have discredited it. What are the tasks of the Rosotrudnichestvo for the People's Republic of Donetsk and Lugansk? Please address this issue to Rosotrudnichestvo. They will provide comments for you. Bulgarian National Radio, please. Are you with us? Am I coming through? Yes, you are coming through. Good afternoon. Maria Zakharova and Sergey Lavrov have already provided comments on this topic, but have never provided the details. So I would like to ask you the following. When Russia will provide uh, the response for the expulsion of Russian diplomats from Bulgaria. Does it mean the closure of embassies of Russia and Bulgaria in the respective countries? The response is not there yet. It we are working on it, and I have no details on this topic. Media Alliance of Russian Alliances. I have just one question. There are compatriots who would like to visit Russia, and there are rumors that there could be outgoing visas. Allegedly, Russia may get back to the practice that was launched in 1990s and banned from leaving the country. Would you provide comments on that? Uh, the right to leave the territory of the Russian Federation as guaranteed by the Article 27 of our Constitution. This right may be limited only under the Article 15 of the federal law, number 114, on the uh, procedure of leaving the Russian Federation. The reasons for the ban are the following. The person who would like to leave the country is accused of certain um, crimes and some other reasons. 